Let's meet our next competitor, Kathy Rickers, a 27-year-old from Lake Villa, Illinois. My name's Kathy Rickers, and I feel uncomfortable with the way I look. I used to get harassed, teased, pushed around. I remember I was in junior high, it was a brand new school. There was a boy that I had a crush on, and I remember he got up on one of the tables and he's like, guess who I am? So everybody put on their little plastic noses and they were making fun of me. That's where I first became aware that I was different. My stepdad always helped me work through it. He helped me when I cried. He was just somebody that I always trusted. You know, I could always go to him for advice and he would give me awesome advice. And when uh, he passed away, it was like a real big void in my, my life and my heart. Sometimes she is down in the dumps a little bit. and I try and help her, make, make her feel better about herself and just do the best that I can. I helped my boyfriend out at his job selling vacuums. So all you're gonna do is push the button and it pops out like that. I normally in school two to four days a week, but you know, I've had so many setbacks and detours that I don't think I've ever finished anything other than high school. I can't say I really ever have felt, you know, really beautiful or sexy. This is the one. This is what I'm waiting to wear. When I wake up in the morning and I look in the mirror, I still see an awkward 16-year-old. Okay, well, Dr. Hayworth, what is the plastic surgery program that you have planned for her? After looking at Kathy, I see that I have to open up her eyes doing an endoscopic brow lift and fat transfer to her hollowness underneath her eyes, which in addition, I have to do a nose job on her. And what I want to do is to give her some more fullness to her upper lip. And Greg, what about her body? I'll have to definitely put her on a strict diet. I can bring her into the gym, spot trainer, isolation movements, Bring back the femininity, I think it'd get her back into a routine. And she has some grieving to do. She has had two very significant periods of loss in her life. One when she was an adolescent and was so teased, and one when her stepfather died. So it sounds like we have to work on her inner self matching her new outer mm -hmm. self, and we have to keep her on track because she doesn't follow through with a lot of things. Kathy's plan features several procedures, starting with her face. She'll have a brow lift, nose job, lip enhancement, fat injected under her eyes, cheek fat removal, a chemical peel, photofacial, collagen, laser hair removal, and LASIK eye surgery. For Kathy's body, she'll have breast augmentation with nipple lift and liposuction in six different areas. Kathy's dental procedures will include a zoom bleaching, da Vinci veneers, cleaning, and repairing of her teeth. For her fitness transformation, Kathy will be put on a 1,200 calorie a day diet and will spend at least 120 hours in the gym focusing on cardio and high repetition weight training. To help boost her self-esteem, Kathy will undergo weekly therapy and coaching. Okay, let's get to work on Kathy. Kathy's first stop is Dr. Hayworth's office to discuss her surgical plan. Kathy is actually a very beautiful woman underneath all the, dare I say, less beautiful features. I'm here as a miner trying to excavate that. Your nose is too big for your face. Yes. And it hangs down a little bit, and it's not feminine. What we need to do is to make it feminine, and all of a sudden your really nice eyes will come out, and you'll start to realize that everything sort of harmonizes. is a little bit droopy than the other one. So what I would recommend for you is we put an implant in here and do a nipple lift at the same time. Okay. You've got a little bit of a square look here. Mm -hmm. These hip rolls need to go. You'd have to liposuction all the way down to your knee. Your inner thighs need it too. Then we would do your stomach. It's a lot of lipo. I think the results are gonna turn out really beautiful. <laughs> I'm just really happy. Kathy is overwhelmed by the possibility of finally losing the features she's been teased about all her life. There is no turning back. Going into surgery is what I'm most nervous about. You know, there's always that fear of like, what if? It's making me very nervous. Very, very, very nervous. I'm going to liposuction these hip rolls here, so it'll give her more of a feminine waist. She's got great skin tone. We're taking advantage of it. Her skin is sucking in beautifully. Now what we're going to do is to turn the attention to the nose. The nose job is one of the most artistic operations in plastic surgery. 
So voila, we reduced her hump, refined her tip, kept her looking natural. So let's see how she'll heal now. In addition to Kathy's rhinoplasty, I performed extensive liposuction, a breast augmentation, endoscopic brow lift, and a permanent lip enhancement. But if she's going to make it to the pageant, she'll have to adhere to her diet and her training plan. Her competitor, Kathy, is already struggling post-surgery. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, I know, just hang on to me. I'm just tired emotionally. I can't wait to go home. After a few days of intense pain, Kathy is thinking of calling it quits. Kathy is constantly calling home, looking for support and possibly a reason to leave. Hello? Hey. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? I'm in a lot of pain, babe. No, oh, my body's just not catching up the way I wanted to. I prayed for death this week. Kathy must decide if she wants to stay at all. Now it's time for Kathy to confront her biggest obstacle to making it to the pageant. Maybe last week. We have 25 pounds to go, and I'm hoping to God I can do this. Yeah, I've gained a pound. I've gained a few pounds since I've been here. I'm not gonna make myself sick over it. Kathy has a tendency to make excuses, but she came here with a very definite goal. This is the one. This is what I'm waiting to wear. I just want to make sure she doesn't give up. Kathy, so I hear there's a little black dress that you wanted to fit into. Where is it? Maybe right here. Wow, this is pretty sexy. So uh, can you fit into this yet? Um, I'm hoping, but how much weight have you lost? I have only lost 10 pounds. How much more do you have to go? Stop 20 more pounds to lose. And how about the diet? Have you been sticking to the diet? Okay, I know you really want to go to the pageant, right? You've told me you really want to go yeah. to the pageant. And you love this dress. Yes. <laughs> so you have got to crank it up. While Kathy battles her inability to stick to the weight loss program. Experts. Well, Kathy came here very self-conscious about her looks. Dr. Hayworth, Kathy was teased a lot because of her nose. How did you help her with that? Well, Kathy needed a classic reduction rhinoplasty. In other words, just to scale down the nose to fit the framework of her face. And I think we managed to do that. Greg, Kathy considers herself a quitter. Now, how was she in the gym and how was her diet? She went way beyond the call of duty and as a result, very sexy, beautiful woman. Well, experts, I know we're all looking forward to seeing her and that time is almost upon us. But first of all, let's rewind three months and take a look at Kathy when she first arrived. When I wake up in the morning and I look in the mirror, I still see an awkward 16-year-old that everybody used to make fun of. I used to get harassed, teased, pushed around. I can't say I really ever have felt, you know, really beautiful or sexy. Okay, it's time to see the results of Kathy's transformation. Here she is, the brand new Kathy Rickers. Absolutely beautiful. Well, you are. <laughs> Come with me. Oh, my goodness. Well, you used to look in the mirror and see an awkward 16-year-old. Do you think that's what you're going to see today? No. What do you think you're going to see? A beautiful woman. Today is the day that you're going to see yourself for the first time in three months. Kathy, time has come. See that curtain? Behind it, there's a mirror. When you are ready, we'll pull back the curtain and you'll be able to see yourself. Off you go. Kathy, are you ready? 
I'm very ready. Everybody. <sighs> Look long and hard, Kathy, because this is the brand new Kathy Records. You I believe it? That's me. <laughs> what is it about yourself that, that's changed the most, do you think? I feel comfortable with my skin. We have yourself to thank. You know who else you have to thank? Guys. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen Kathy, and I can't believe at how she's transformed herself into this glamorous rock star. The minute Kathy walked into the door, she definitely had all the right curves that I thought she would have in the end. She was definitely transformed. <laughs> Coming up, Beth and Kathy's astounding transformations are complete. But one more life-changing decision awaits. The woman who has earned a place in the pageant tonight is... Who will it be? Find out next on The Swan. Welcome back to The Swan. It's time to find out if our judges, in consultation with our experts, have decided whether Beth or Kathy will be moving on to the Swan pageant. Now, before we bring them out, let's just take one more look at how big their transformations were. Kathy came here feeling like an awkward teenager who'd never felt beautiful in her life. She battled her weight and her quitter mentality, and now we see a gorgeous woman who's followed through with her dream. Beth arrived a young woman who had never been away from home and didn't truly know herself. She fought through a painful recovery and marital problems to become a confident beauty who's determined to get what she wants. Okay, let's bring them out. Gentlemen. One of you is about to move forward to the pageant and could be crowned the swan. Along with that title, ladies, comes cash and prizes worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> you have both been judged on beauty, on poise, and of course, overall transformation. Here in this envelope, the name of the woman who's been chosen to go forward for pageant. Good luck to you both. The woman who has earned a place in the pageant tonight. I think Beth made it to the pageant because she worked very hard in every single aspect of this program. She just rose to every challenge with everything she had. Beth, can you do me a favor and just walk over there for one moment while I say goodbye to Kathy? Oh. It's too bad Kathy didn't make it to the pageant. Kathy really took risks with her look, with her internal transformation. She is a wow story. I know you must be disappointed, Kathy, but 
You've learned so much over the past three months. Tell me what's your most favorite memory? The whole experience has been wonderful. I've met so many great people. All 16 of us are beautiful women. Okay, well, before I say goodbye, I have one more surprise for you. Okay? Okay? Come over here with me. Gentlemen. to her when I first saw her was just a wow. It is unbelievable. You think? Yeah, baby, what are you doing? <laughs> Perfect. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. She was too. I'm so glad to see you. Like your boots. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> She looks gorgeous. I think it's helped her blossom into somebody that she's always dreamed of. <laughs> I may not be the ultimate swan, but I feel like a swan. I feel like I can walk tall and proud and Enjoy being who I am. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. <laughs> That's congratulations. Thank you. Well, next Monday, the transformations continue as two more women vie for a spot on the most unusual competition ever devised. Who will be named the Swan? <laughs> Beth Lake.